Hi, this is a presentation of how and why to subnet an IP network, and it is Chapter 8 in CCNA 1. The whole idea of subnetting is to create a network that is smaller, because what we will see in large network is that we have a lot of broadcast traffic, because every device will generate uh, broadcast traffic, for instance, with the ARP protocol which means that the larger the network, the more broadcast we will have and the more broadcast will be generated. So the whole idea here is to create a network that is smaller um, and has a smaller broadcast domain. We want smaller broadcast domains. And the only thing that can limit our broadcast domains are a layer 3 device, for instance, a router. So in this case here, where we have a lot of switches, these will all be a part of one large broadcast domain. But when we put in a router, it will stop the broadcast. So whatever I send out within the broadcast domain of broadcast will be sent to all the devices. And um, so what we would like to do is that we would like to create smaller LANs because a, a LAN is typically something that has one large uh, broadcast domain. And of course, since we have so many broadcasts, it will make the uh, network smaller. So in this case here, where we have one large LAN, where we have room for 400 users or devices, that is quite a significant network and a large one. So what we would like to do is that we would like to divide it. And by doing so, we can subnet, because subnet means that we take one large network and divide it up into smaller parts, either in 2, or in 4, or in 8, or in 16, and so on. And these smaller network spaces, or smaller networks, are called a subnet. And this is the whole idea, to create smaller networks and to make, um, to make smaller broadcast domains. So here, for instance, there are different ways of creating subnets on, on, and on which backgrounds that we create the subnets. One can be, for instance, to create a subnet uh, according to the location. For instance, here we have a large office building and we can create a subnet for each floor. If we have uh, uh, different locations, different buildings, we can also make the subnets are different in each building, for instance. So this is one way of doing it. We divide them after location. We can also do it when we look at our organization and do it per organization in unit. For instance, we can have one LAN or one subnet for the administration, another one for the human resource department, and one for IT department, and one for accounting, and students, and faculty, or whatever our uh, organizational units are. So that is also the way that we can segment or divide our network. And we can also do it by looking at the device types, that we can have all the printers in one subnet, we can have um, the servers in another subnet, and all our hosts and clients in the third subnet, for instance. Many times we do it a little bit of each. We have, for instance, all our printers in one subnet here at the school, uh, but we have also divided the students in one subnet, um, the teachers and the faculties members in another uh, subnet. Uh, we have a subnet for our wireless network because that has a special functions. So normally what we do is we take a little bit of each.